start recording. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I've gotten my email, a letter from Dawn for today, and it's got another uh, goodie. It's got another goodie. <laughs> Message from the Lord. All these are good, but I mean one that's one of those that's not a regular contributor. Okay, so let's get started. This is for, uh, what is today? Tuesday? September 21st, 2021. And this came this morning sometime. 6.18 a.m. All right. Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Draw near to me and let us have sweet fellowship together. Put aside all distractions and let me fill you with my love and anointing to strengthen our bond of unity. Come and receive a boost in courage to move forward with confidence and serenity. You need that peace from Jesus. Oh, he goes on to finish by saying, come. The verse that comes to my mind is, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke, for I am meek and humble in heart, and my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. That's what Jesus told people. That's what he's telling us in his word. Come unto him. Now this verse is from Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. This is a good one too. God says, For I know the plans that I have toward you, says the Lord plans of peace and not of evil to give you a future and an expectation then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart it takes diligence you got to mean it you want to hear from God? You get it on your hands and knees or on your face if you get if you can and pray and seek his face. You got to mean it. All right, let's move on. This is a shrill staccato blast. I thought, "Oh, this one was in there the other day, but no, it's different." It's a message delivered on September 18th at the end of end at the end, Shabbat, Avedan. Now that's how the other one was worded, right? Listen to this. The Lord shows a vision of the aftermath of the dreadful judgment coming. This is a vision. In a vision. At the end of the judgment, when people finally emerge from their abode... A man was standing in front of his house, among many, carrying in his arms a dead loved one, with tears in his eyes, crying, I was filled with Holy Ghost. I was told I am saved. Why? Why me? He was not prepared, did not repent. He has been taught. He has been saved. Once saved, always saved. That's what he was taught. That's what he chose to believe. So he was left behind. That's what I'm seeing. How do y'all see that? They came out of their abode. At the end of the judgment. What is their abode? A man was standing in front of his house among many. At the end of judgment, he was carrying in his arms a dead loved one. He said, I'm, I was filled with the Holy Ghost. I was told I'm saved. Why? Why me? That's how I'm seeing it. One of the judgments after we come back inside of time and help the, the multitude too large to number is the second rapture. And that's seen in Revelation 7. Um, 
First, it starts off talking about the, the uh, group of 144,000 that are Jewish. Now, there's debate whether that's us or the others. There's two groups of 144,000, but I don't think that's the bride of Christ. I think that's Jewish people on earth that will be marked as for protection. They will be kept from being harmed. They'll be led off into uh, what Petra or a place like that and kept safe for a reason because they are true believers in God Almighty waiting for their Savior. They weren't saved yet, so they can't go with the multitude too large to number. You see that? You cannot get into heaven until you accept Jesus. But that doesn't mean they weren't good Jews following all their laws, doing their animal sacrifices however they can. I don't know how they do it nowadays. I don't think they can. But anyway, I'm going to move on. September 21st, 2021. Receive my peace. There is much going on in your life right now. I know it is hard to walk in peace. Take a deep breath. You will do much better in all that you have to do if you do it in peace. Oh, that is so true. What you are doing is important in the kingdom and with others. This is why your enemy is giving you so much opposition. He doesn't want what you are involved in to succeed. And I know that. Boy, that spoke to my heart so big, so largely. Because I just feel like every day there's something going on with my computer or around here or something with my dog or something somewhere. Usually not my dog. He's my sweetheart, aren't you, baby? Yeah, he's waiting for me to give him his, his, his little Caesars dog food and kibbles and bits. Yeah, which we're trying, but I'm not buying that anymore because it's made of corn and, and it has high fructose corn syrup or one of them fructose syrups in it. And I thought... I got that dog. No wonder he likes it so much. Moving on. The verse put with this is from John 14, 27, New Living Translation, number two. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. And that was given to Bev Robinson. Thank you, Bev, for sharing that with us. And thank you, Dawn, if you watch my videos. I don't know if she does. I don't know if she has time. She's a missionary overseas. But she does put together this newsletter from these people from America that send her these words they receive from the Lord. Okay, the last one. I have told you and demonstrated to you many times that my desire is to uplift you and exalt you in the world around you. Have I not shown you that when you honor and exalt me, I will be sure your voice is heard by those around you? <laughs> when I get to talking to these people about this stuff, I uh, get to yelling. I'm sure they hear me. <laughs> Lift me up to all those who have ears.